Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So it is the morning of day seven. Today is horde night. Just coming out here to take a look at my crops. I made two more farm plots last night just so we can get some stuff going. Now someone had mentioned to me uh, maybe putting the farm plots on the roof, but I think I'm going to make this like its little its own little balcony out here. I'll take all this out. Just make it open to the air. I think that'll be kind of nice out here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started today. Now I want to start off I got some stuff down here. I want to start off by working on the porch uh, where the horde is going to take place. I was been th I've been thinking about what we're going to do and moving forward what we're going to do because that's going to be the tricky thing, right? Like we can just we can easily handle the horde on the first night, but we got to decide moving forward how we're going to continue to handle it, right? So I'm, I thought of a couple of things. I think what I want to do um, is work on getting my demolitions up so we can get pipe bombs going. Oops, let's use the hammer. It's a little faster. Um, because I think what I want to do is make the base um, sort of pipe bomb explosive friendly, if that makes sense. So what I'll do, um, I think we're going to integrate this part into the structure as well. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, but what I want to do is I want to build a base, like have it come out a bit here, right? And then I'm going to take angled blocks like, um, and I saw this kind of in, um, I don't know if you guys watch uh, Jawoodle, um, but he's got a couple of good ideas. And it wasn't his idea, it was somebody else's idea, but if we do advanced on this and we quickly switch it to, uh, that's it there. So if we go like this, I'm just going to do this real quick just to show you. If we do that and then uh, switch our shape to, it could be either one of these, either this guy or this guy, but I think we're going to go with this angle block, stand advanced, and we want to go with it. I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't tested it yet. Maybe like that, because then we can just, like toss a pipe bomb it'll hit there and drop outside you know and go off and if we stand back far enough we shouldn't get affected by the blast at all that's kind of my thought so the walls will be protected by these slots for pipe bombs and then we'll have a melee set up out front here where we can take them head on now, i think this building has got a small enough footprint that they're not going to be beating on the building at the back as long as it's not easier to break through there to get to me which my plan is to make all this concrete and then put plates around it and make all that concrete and then have this as the area that they're going to come to and as long as they can think they as long as they think they can get to me the easiest way here i think we'll be fine i'm kind of going off a little bit of uh Jewoodle and a little bit of glock 9 on the idea for the base um so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make some more frames. How much wood do we have? Not that much. Uh, let's make another, because we got to get this done today. Let's make some, let's make 30 frames. We're probably going to go have to go get some wood today. So let's get this set up. Uh, I'm going to do this first and then I'll be back in a second. Uh, once I get this, the walls up, I'll show you what I've got done. I think, I don't know how wide I want to make it in here. Now I think we go out to here. I think it's got to be this wide. That gives us five blocks in the center to monkey around with. And I'll probably end up taking the rest of this wrap porch out. I like the porch idea. Um, so I think... I don't know if you guys can hear that guy. It's just one I think. It's just one zombie. There's a dog over there. Let's take care of this dog. Right up Main Street. Get over here, buddy. I got a club for you. Welcome to the party. Who? Oh. Yep. Nope. Yep. Doesn't know where I am. That is the end of you. Now, we didn't get really any... Uh, 
people showing up last night from what I can remember. It's been a while since I recorded too, just uh, keeping that in mind. Let's go ahead and uh, harvest this dog for the resources. So yeah, uh, I'm thinking primarily, like, because we don't have a ton of zombies, right? Um, it's only an eight zombie horde night with average zombies. So, I mean, hell, I could make this wood and probably kill them all off in one shot, but I want to make it a, a viable base moving forward. So that's why I'm going to kind of reinforce it. Although this part here doesn't have to be right now. Let's knock these out. And then I think, yeah, these two can come out. We'll put these in. That's got to be uh, cobble. Okay. I keep hearing that guy wandering around back there. Alright, let's put the walls in. Oops, we don't want to do that. We want to do... Hearing that guy out there. Let's take these out first here. He's going to hear me. I'm hoping he hears me soon and comes around the front so I can deal with him. Come on, buddy. I got all day. Now we're going to have to make this stable. I don't know how long this series is going to go. We might die and then that'll be it, right? Because I think I'll do, I'll do permadeath on this. So if we die, we die. Unless it's like on a lag spike or something. Whoops. Oh, I hit the stone. Okay. So we may want to... He's hitting my fence. Four, five, six, seven. So for tonight's horde, we're only going to go to here. I might extend it out a little bit more later on. And I think probably I'll just handle the tonight's horde with a hatch. But I got to decide moving forward if I'm going to go with bars. Um my horde control series the base i've got set up now granted it's above ground it's like six blocks up come on buddy decide what you're doing uh it's six blocks up so um let's do this with this guy and advanced so it's easier because the, we can just knock the zombies off it right Whereas this one, it's like they're gonna they can come from all sides and attack me from all sides. Which I wanna do it this way because it gives the zombies I think are we gonna go this route? Up here. No, I think I wanna Yeah, it gives the zombies because there's so few of them, it gives them at least a not necessarily a fighting chance, but a little bit more of a chance than they would normally have. God, that guy. Come on, man. Just get over here. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's go this route. And then we want to do advanced. So, like that. And oh, we got to take out the window frame. Oh, man. We better take this one out, too, because we we're going to be filling this in all the way up. All right, I gotta make this place look aesthetically nice as well. I don't want to live in a piece of garbage house. There we go. Put that there, and yeah, we gotta take these ones out too. So we'll make it look really nice as well. I want to have the upper floor, like up here, will be a balcony. So we'll, we'll take the wrap porch out down here, and we'll put it in up above. So we can sit out on the deck, looking at the burnt, burnt, uh, or the uh, shattered oasis here. Yep. All right. Okay. I'm gonna fill all this in, and then I'll be back in a second. Okay. Now I prematurely filled these in. I, that's a mistake. I think I thought originally I wasn't gonna be going out that far, but I did. So it's kind of a pain. Okay. One, two, three. Right? So we'll knock those out eventually. That guy. I don't know if he's in my yard. 
Like, I don't think the dogs or anything can fit through there, so I'm not going to worry about that for tonight. But we will be taking that out. we got to make a trip over to the trader again today, too. It's day seven. We're going to go to the guy near us. If he's got some good stuff, great. If he doesn't have anything good, we may go to the other trader. I don't know. And then if we got time, we're going to hit up some buildings here. Or a building. Probably have time for one building. All right, we need more wood frames. Oof, getting close on wood here. Let's do another 20. Yeah, we're going to have to chop trees here in a second. Let's only go three high. The big problem is going to be if a freaking bear shows up tonight. It's the problem with doing the horde, like, ground level. Is if they, uh... If we got a lot of ads, like if bears and stuff show up, right? Do that and that, that and that. And... Do I want a window here? I don't think so, because they're not, they're not going to be up that high. So we'll fill this in. Yeah. I think we can do that, and then we'll just go ahead and throw a hatch here. Actually, let's make one right now, just in case something does come by. Uh, hatch, hatch, hatch. Starts with an H. Craft a wooden hatch. We need to get iron uh, so we can upgrade it, because if it's not upgraded, we'll have problems, I think, tonight. And do that. Actually, let's make another one. Just in case they get through the first one. Now, uh, Anthony was asking if it would be a good idea to um, put spikes into a pit. Now, here's the problem with spikes in a pit in seven days to die. And I'm sure if people have played this, they, they probably know. So if you go down one level and put spikes in, sure, the zombies have to cross through it. They go into it. They take some damage, right? They come out the other side. Let's just do this. Um, and that's that's it, right? Now, any if they die while they're in the pit, or on the spikes, you don't get any XP for it, which kind of sucks. But the spikes are really meant to, like, slow the zombies down. Yeah, sure, at lower levels they'll kill the zombies, but later levels they really won't. Now, if you go down two, let's say, if you make a trench too deep that the zombies can't easily climb out of, they'll fall onto the spikes, then they'll be like, okay, well, I need to get out of here, so they start banging on the upper level of the... Of the um, opposite side of the trench wall, right? And then once th once they beat through that, they can climb out. Now, if you go three deep, what happens is you're in a tunneling situation. They'll tunnel. Unless you give them a walkway up and out on the other side, like behind them, to climb out of, which they probably won't do. They'll probably try to keep moving forward. Um, then you're into a situation where you just you have to worry about the zombies. Um, constantly um, getting... Actually, why am I doing it here? <laughs> this one's a little easier. We're going to go through this one. Um, you're in a situation where you're constantly worried about the zombies tunneling underneath you, right? So it's always better to fight on ground level or above if you can. Um, now, you can put a moat in for aesthetic purposes and you can make it out of concrete and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. And that there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it just takes a lot of time and resources to do it. Which is why generally I don't do it. I like the look of it. I like the look of like the trenches and spikes and barbed wire in it. Which is why I did it in uh, the Chempre series for our final horde base. I kind of it was really an aesthetic look. It wasn't didn't really have any effect on the zombies. And that last base that we had was kind of crappy anyway. But I mean, it was like I said, it was just an aesthetic look. It wasn't meant to be um, effective in any way. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you dig trenches you got to make sure that they're all concrete all the way around. That's one thing. And then the second thing you have to do is give the zombies a way out of them on the opposite side, like away from you, so that they don't just constantly beat on the walls and stuff. All right, we got to take this out. So this has got to be... Okay, this has got to be an iron door. Let's go check our iron situation. I can't remember... Also, somebody said, uh, maybe, why don't I take the stairs out? I apologize, I can't remember your name. You mentioned, it, you've had a few comments, and I I always I love, love it when people comment. I didn't take them out, because I want to have this, like, as a regular house in here. Um, now, iron-wise, what are we looking at? We've got that in the there. I don't think we've got, oh, we do. Beautiful. So, do we need, f we need forged iron to make an iron door, right? I believe so. I think it's like 10 forged iron. Uh, let's just type in door. 
Iron door, 10 forged iron. We, do we have 10 forged iron? Uh, we do not. So we'll need 10, and then I think it's 12 for each update. So we'll need 34. Let's make 40 forged iron. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to take, though. Four minutes. Not too bad. Let's get that going. Now, let's go down and upgrade the hatch. Hatch. He's banging on my fence out there. Oh, I need to make iron hatches. That's right. So let's make two iron hatches. Uh, hatch. Two. Craft. And we can update this one while we're waiting. While we's waiting. So I think this will work out fine for the first night. And then we have to really work on what we're going to do here. I think we, I think this will get blocked in and then across here I'll put a level of blocks. So this will only be three high on the inside. And then it'll be covered over here and then one more level on top. We'll add plates and everything. And this will be our front door for now. Leave that one down. I'm almost worried about going out there to get him because like I was really hoping that they wouldn't damage the inside here um, because I want to kind of like like I said I want to build this house uh, based on the rough, rough design that's already here like I'll keep this table you know we'll update everything to concrete I want to remove these and put in proper shelving I want to put proper windows in maybe I don't know we need, see this is all brick here. We need concrete to update it. Uh, we have damage here somewhere? I broke through my fence. Come on, buddy. Come on around front. Is he coming? This is a good test for the Horde Knight. No. That might be bad. Watching out for bears. What's up, buddy? Oh, I gotta take this out. This has gotta come out. So the problem with having this at the back, if you if you guys don't know, zombies want to get up to your level. So they see this as a way to get to my level, so they'll come up here first. And then they'll start banging on the walls rather than going around the front. Yeah, they're gonna. How, is this fuck? It's freaking concrete. Oh crap! And these are plates. Oh no, that's not gonna be good. Going forward, it won't be good. Uh, once we get better tools, we can take it out. I have to decide what I'm going to do now. Do I put a hatch to the back as well? Just for tonight. I think we better do that. Um, let's get that door moving. I think we're going to need to do that. Uh, that'll be done shortly. I think we're going to have to put a hatch in at the back. Damn it. See, that's just wood. That's not. Oh, because they broke through this one. That's brick. So what if we just... I got an idea. Oh, shit. That's just a wood panel. Oh, I see. They, they've they been breaking through here, though. Oh, I know what they did. For aesthetic purposes, they added a couple of, like... Yeah, this is a wood panel right here, too. They added a couple of wood panels to make it look like the walls were, like... Or the... the uh, uh, that's what they did. Make it look like the uh, thing was peeling off. So what we're going to do is we'll do this here... Let's take this out. Because what I'll do for now... I mean, I'll take that back porch out. I think once the back porch is out, it'll be fine. 
So we'll do that. And then maybe we go ahead and we'll put a hatch right here. Because then we can just... I don't know. Fuck, maybe not. We, maybe we have to break out the bottom here. In which case we need two hatches. And I should have enough iron. I need 160. Yeah, 160 iron to get that updated. Okay, so our door... Like that. It's 10 only. Okay, that's good. It's cheaper. So that's a fully reinforced door now. Okay, how much? 2,500. So it's technically 7,500. Just thinking if it would be cheaper. I think the hatches need to be at the bottom here. I think, I wonder if it would be cheaper. I don't know, I'm just kind of bouncing ideas around in my head. So for 30 forged iron, you could have a door put up that's in total 7,500 hit points. So you could put them against, put a bunch of doors against the walls because the reinforced concrete is total of 5,000. Let's do this first. I don't trust them frickin' bears. Let's just do that for now. Finish this one up. Yeah, so... I mean, it would look really stupid and I wouldn't do it in this series, but you could probably do it. I also saw a guy that was able to... Uh, I, Wish I could remember his name now. There's a channel. A guy built a, his main base. The bottom parts were... The bottom parts were... Um, let's do that for now. The bottom parts of the base were... Doors. And then he took the doors out. And the upper part of the base was just floating somehow. And I don't know how he did it. It's so bizarre. Look at this back. It's just reinforced. Maybe we should have put the horde part at the back here. Alright, take those out. Might as well take these out. Oh, wait, that's banging on. Oh, this whole thing is attached. That's right. That's all attached. Well, that's fine. They can beat on that tonight. Now, is this wood? It is underneath. This whole place will be concrete eventually, but we're out of wood. Ooh, shit, that's bad. All right, let's go get some wood. Did I fix this door? I did. Got to clear this yard, too. Let's take this tree down. I mean, it looks nice in the front yard, right? A burned up tree. But I think we need to get rid of it. It's almost time to go to the trader. I think we're ready for the horde tonight. The back door is ready. Just want to reinforce a few blocks, I think. Okay, we haven't checked this yet. Ooh, four bucks, man. Four bucks is four bucks. Grab a little extra of that. And this. You know what we should do? Um, I don't know what they're going to break out here and what they're not going to... They, I mean, they shouldn't really touch any of this stuff. Although they may try and climb on top of it. And I think they might do that because they see it as getting up to my height. Alright, let's make... Do we have frames left? I think we do. Uh, where are you guys? Here we go. So let's do this. Um, shape. We want... Stairs. Like this. And then we want to do... Come on. Shape. We want to go you. And you. Now I'm only going to do it like this for now. Because we're probably going to take these out. We might move this forward. I don't know. Now we also need them to s not get up on the roof. So let's go with... Just real quick. These guys. Do 
Do we need that many? Just need the three, right? I think so. And that should stop them from climbing up there. Okay, let's break this out. Break this out. They might do a good job and tear the rest of this down for me so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'll take this out. That way if they stack up they can't get in, or they won't be able to get in anyway, but... That way this is... A little better, I think, with it being down like this. Okay. That way when the pipe bomb drops down here... Right? It's a little farther away from me, and I'm more protected by the uh, walls here. Okay, cool. I think we're ready for Horde. As ridiculous as this is, for now, I think it's fine. We got the back door closed. Yep, beautiful. Alright, close this for now. Alright, let's put this stuff away. So we can put you in there. You, you guys. You, this guy. Oop, that guy we're going to sell. We should start keeping the plastic though. That can go in there. The dollaries. I almost said dollary dues. Fuck Josh. Dollars can come with us. We'll take that. Uh, we're doing okay for water still. We won't need to make a water trip for a while. How's our food doing? We're doing great with food. Let's use one of these guys. I think we're going to leave these here and take the regular water with us. And we'll drink two of these now. And we'll leave this here. And then we're going to head over to the trader, sell this stuff. See what he's got. Um, we've only got 38.762 rounds. Do we have any more in here? We don't. Um, that might be a problem. Well, I don't know. I don't think we're going to have to worry about it. It's only like... Leave that up. It's only like if we get a bear. Speaking of which, I should be really careful. problem is is I've been playing if you I've been trying to find other ways to play the game to make it difficult and one way to make it more difficult is to put the zombies on insane and have them on jog which is kind of where I have them right now when I'm playing in, a, in the Greenlands um, just because it makes it that much more difficult especially when you start because trying to use a, a level one wooden club against zombies just doesn't quite work especially when they're on insane difficulty you got to hit them like well with an iron club I know it's like some of the tougher ones it's five or six times in the face to take them down and if you're fighting a group of them it could be a big problem all right do we need anything for tonight health bar maybe that's if we get this will help us get our health back quicker if we get an abrasion or something like natural healing crit or natural crit healing so we can get 200% healing back. Uh, rock busters we're probably going to want to buy. Uh, what I want to, I'm going to take two of those and I'll take one of these. And we're not going to need that because the zombies aren't that difficult. Jailbreakers, eh. I mean we probably should. If we get another, now that I bought it we'll never, we'll never see another treasure map. That's exactly what'll happen. I don't know, man. What do you got for me? Got anything good? Let's sell this first. 377. We can sell this off. Sell this off. Alright, we got 79, 75. You got a chem station or a workbench, we'll take that. Uh military vest, not bad. Muzzle brake, ammo, mini bike chassis. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Before we start doing that, let's go over here. So, uh, strength, we're still at level one. I wonder if we should go to Pummel Pete level two. I don't know if we, like, it's only worth it against tough zombies, and these zombies aren't that tough right now. Like, I always go that way if I'm playing on insane difficulty, but healing factor is a possibility too. I'm just worried about bears too, right? So we got Lucky Looter, Treasure Hunter. Uh, what about if we go Better Barter? Got two more points left. Um, strength. Let's go two more into strength. Forget it. We're, we're going to go up that route. 
All right, we got better barter now, so that's a 5% better deal. Okay, so he did have the mini bike chassis. It's a little cheaper now. The bellows too. Uh, what else do we got here? Not much there, not much there. Eggs, that's a possibility at 28 each now. Um, buckshot, bullet casings. You got 762. 1400, man, that's ex so expensive. Gunpowder, I think we buy all your gunpowder. I meant to go into, uh, shoot, I meant to go into, uh, I can't remember if we can make, well, we can't make pipe bombs without a, um, yeah, we're buying those. We can't make pipe bombs without a workbench anyway, so, not like that matters. Armor pocket mod, 350. It's a possibility. Every little bit helps. Forge steel. Machine gun parts. Oil. BDU top. Well. Well, it's about time you bought something. Okay, what are we rocking now? Like I said, it's been a while since I recorded. So, we got the helmet light. We got the plus three loot bonus. Not going to change that. All of our, well, no, our boots have a space left. Our gloves have a space left. And our legs got two spaces. So, we can go ahead and buy, let's buy this. Serrated, we have a serrated blade on here? We No, that's the tempered blade. Doesn't matter though. Um, it's just for extra damage on the uh, on the items. I'm gonna buy all his eggs. Uh, do we just buy? We got a couple days to think about it. Let's think oh about damn, it. Things are selling like hotcakes. I have to. Um, can we make pipe bombs? We can. I remember reading the schematic for that. There's a workbench at the other guy's place. Now we do have pipe bombs already. I don't, yeah. Do we want to go out there? I think we do. I think we want to go see what he's got. And worst case scenario, we buy the ammo. Let's um, put that into, but nice if you had a bandolier mod. Okay, let's take that. Uh, this, we can keep on us for now. I don't think we're going to really stop. We're going to go right out there, I think. Man, this jacket. What's up, buddy? See what I mean? Like, we don't really need to upgrade strength and, and that just yet. I mean, we will later on when we crank the difficulty up a little bit. I've been thinking about maybe turning it up a little bit after every horde. So after the Night 7 horde, what I might do is go from adventurer to oh, snake, whatever the next level is, and reduce when the horde comes. So make it rather than seven, it's on day, like six days from now. And then after, um, after that horde, reduce it again and increase the difficulty so it would be like on day five the horde which or five days of the horde would show up we definitely need wood let me knock this tree down and then we'll go to the other trader i'd love it if this other trader had a workbench if he's got a workbench i'm gonna be like in utter bliss like to buy that is because then we don't need to go out here very often to, to, to get stuff. We can make our own ammo. Which I'm really hoping we could do soon. I guess I could have brought stuff out to make ammo. There's a mine. Whoa, there's a doge. Now watch this. It's the reason why I like to wear light armor. And the reason why I, I, I think the uh, college jacket is so much better. Oh, he's still on me. I can hear him back there. Let's see how far he's gotten. Nope. He's gone. Yeah. If it was a bear, it may have been a different story. He may have been still been on me, but... It's a huge difference. Like, the, the ability to run like that. That 10% and having a still 100% mobility. 
in the wastelands I think is like it's a definite must I don't I think wearing heavy armor unless it, you're like later in the game and you've got lots of stuff there's a bear over there you want to be like as nimble as possible because if a bear chases you out here like where do you go you gotta run into a POI you know then you gotta you know you also gotta be watching for mines while he's chasing you there's another doge Oh, he took that one right in the face. What's up, lady? Ooh, you walked right into that one. Not gonna bother looking for the arrows. We're going for the traitor. Yeah, so as I was saying, I think you want to stay, especially early on, as nimble as possible. And it uses, like the light armor uses far less stamina too, right? Rockbusters, pasta. Okay, not a lot. I don't think we left anything in the workbench last time, did we? No. I don't like leaving stuff behind. Ooh, I left this door open though. Something you like. Perhaps, what do you got? Oh, well, you got a level two pistol. Robotic sledge, 6,500. Man, I love those things. Uh, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And then I saw it in action. And I'm like, wow, that's actually really good. Knocking knocking uh, jerks away from doors. Oh my god, rocket launcher schematic. Other than against the bears, it's, still, it's just a little bit overkill. I should buy the blood bags. Um, that's just for making first aid kits later in the game. Bipod mod? No, shotgun duck, duck bill. The gunpowder will take. The robo the robotic slugs are just a too a little bit too expensive. We'll buy these. Because it's cheap as shiz. Um padded armor. Nothing really in here we want. Got our helmet light already. Large pipes. No thanks, I've already got one. Oh, 1900 for a forge, but we don't need that because I can make them. Double barrel shotgun. Two of them. Wooden bow. What's the damage on this? 26? What's ours? 30. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Such a huge difference. Uh, bullet casings. And bullet tips. You know what? Let's buy these. Oops. And buy these. Cause that's cheap as shiz. And we got a ton of gunpowder on us. We should have we should got more than enough to make ninety. Uh let's and safe travels. Yeah, man. That was a good buy. Let's go over here. Now we can go do a POI. Oh, maybe we can't look at the time. Oh, maybe we can. We gotta get back home. <laughs> the horse coming tonight, and I'm like in the middle of nowhere trying to make some ammo here. Seven minutes. It's a little much. All right, let's go see what we got around here. We got the military one. Is that that? That's not like a little house over there, I think. Yeah, somebody also, uh, you know, I, uh, if you guys watch Seven Days to Die video, I don't know if you do, everybody watch other people. Uh, I, I got a pretty small viewing audience, but uh, if you watch Cap Double Zero, he's actually, he's actually playing... Uh, he he was the guy that kind of I watched his series about playing in the wasteland. It kind of got me interested to try this. Oh shit! What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, missed. Damn it! Now I need vitamins. Well, that was just fucking. <laughs> I shouldn't mention Cap's name when I'm out here. It's just bad luck. Oh, man. Do we take the health bar or do I try to find vitamins? Fuck it. We go for the vitamins. What's up, lady?
I didn't realize this was the house with a dog in it. I mean, I knew one of these trailers had a dog in it. I just didn't think this was the one. Dumb me. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Club out. I hear somebody. There you are. Yeah. Uh, oh. What's up, big mama? Okay, one down. Yeah, man. On insane difficulty, I'd have been dead. Those two guys could have easily wrecked me. The, if you think a regular zombie takes five hits, could you imagine what Big Mama and that guy would take? It's crazy. Okay, now I know there's a gun bag in here. 1840. Maybe we'll be fighting the horde on foot. We're going to be exhausted, though, when we're fighting the horde. Oh, this is so bad. We got to go back and get our ammo. We're just going to just do this real quick. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, that was worth it. Let's scrap this. Take these two. Ah, man. Okay, we're going to scrap this. Scrap the nails. Uh, we need the chairs for our house. You can have the glass. And we'll sell a couple things to the trader. Wait, are we down to... Oh, 55. I thought it said one arrow. Okay, what do we got in here? We can sell that. Plastic we can sell. Scrap this. Yeah, man, we're going to have to hurry. Three hours to hoard. Take the water. We'll take the nitrate powder. We got any coffee here? Oh, we do. Maybe we take that before we get out of here. Oh, that's more nitrate powder. Beautiful. Uh, we might as well completely load ourselves down because why not? Oops. Uh, that we can pick up. Anything in the fridge? Oh, brotato. Okay, let's scrap this. We don't need that. All right, let's go sell stuff to the trader. There's a bear over here. He's still there. What's up, buddy? Sorry, I can't harvest you. Don't have the time. Look out for mines. I wonder... I, don't, I didn't look to see if he had any vitamins, but I don't think he did. I don't want to use that health bar right now. I guess I should, though. Well, it's still going to be like an hour of real time. The horde will be long over, even if I do that. Uh, let's use both of these. Come on, use. Scrap. All right. Let's get in here, sell a couple things. We didn't properly loot that place, but we needed to kill time. Thanks, buddy. Okay, we can sell you. Uh, we can sell all this. We can sell this. Uh, let's just sell those two because we need space for the way home. Uh, what else? Anything else? I'm sure there is. I'm just missing it. We need the chairs for the house. Um, nothing else. <sighs> Do I want anything else before we go? What was I going to check for? Oh, yeah, for the uh, health bar. It would be down, or the uh, thing, it would be down here. Painkillers. I think we got some at home. Okay, I should buy this. Burning shaft mod. Gratitude and safe travels okay, modify you. Let's get the barbed wire off and the burning, whoops. Burning shaft on. So what we're going to do... I'm going to go down here. Crap, we're running out of time. Get my light back on. We left some stuff in here. We're going to leave some more. 
Uh, let's leave you. Let's leave you. Let's leave. We don't need that. We don't need that right now. What do we got? We need to put four more things in here. Got painkillers. That the co that coffee can go in there. Uh, the one casing can go in there. Uh, we might need the coal. That can go in there. Um, come on, one thing. What can I leave here? One thing. I'm not going to need. Probably that. Alright, how much ammo is done? Oh, 28 seconds. Yeah, it's cutting it close. Come on. Four more rounds. I probably don't need these for Horde anyway, like I said. We're going to be fighting the Horde fatigued. I, got, I hope I got vitamins at home. I can't remember if I do or not. We got to go full speed. Come on, two more. One more. Okay. Let's get it home. And let's hope there's no bears on the way. Because otherwise we're fucked. Yeah, I'll see you at my house. Yeah, I'm worried about getting home now. I think we got enough time. Hour and a half. If we run into... Ooh, look at that. If we run into a bear, it's going to be a problem. Like if he's right on the road. That may be the uh, case where we sprint past him and see how well the, uh, <laughs> the jacket does. But we could put a uh, blunderbuss round into him. To slow him down, and then just keep going. Yeah, I'm glad I bought this helmet light. Alright, we're almost there. Hey, we'll be there with an hour to spare. That'll give us enough time to put the stuff away. And then, um... We have everything we need on us right now. Not worried about eating. You know what would suck though? Is if they figured out how to get up and in here. I don't think they will though. It's a bit of a tricky uh, entrance. Okay. I know I could have gone through the door, but I wanted to get right up here. Okay, so uh, what can go in there? That stuff. Uh, yeah, this is going to go on something already. Uh, what else? Drop that in there. You health bar can go in there you let's use you don't really need it but we'll do that let's keep a couple of these on us let's keep some water on us uh, these guys need to be on us uh, what else do we need here um, we don't have any vitamins okay not much I can do about that and now we need this just in case this just in case some iron just in case. Put these up here. Uh, we got one frame. What else do we need? Let's put a torch down there. Um, come on, I know I'm forgetting something. What is it? Pipe bombs. And I think that's probably going to do it. Don't need the Molotovs. Alrighty. Well, yeah, buddy, I'm be over here. Okay, let's make two more frames. He's going to go to the back door. Make four more frames. Sounds like he's going to the back door. Yep. So we may be fighting the horde from the back door. Either one doesn't matter. What's up, Mo? Burn, you fucker. Alright, did he damage that outer door? Yep, a little bit. Three points of iron. How much iron do we have on us? Um, let's modify this guy, too. Put that in there. What? Oh, you can't put it in there with the... Oh, really? That's interesting. All right, I think we're ready. You know, worst case scenario, yeah, see this is all brick. 
or I'll, yeah. Like everything is brick here. So worst case scenario, I mean, they break through one of the brick walls, but I don't think they're going to do that. I just don't think they got the juice. Not on, not, not tonight. All right, one minute. See where they come from. Oh, here she is. Sounds like they're coming from the front. I should have brought some coffee with me. Yeah, that's... You know what? That was a bit of a problem, uh... Taking that hit. I shouldn't have risked it. Normally I don't. Normally I don't risk it on a horde night going into a building. Especially with the, uh... The wound system now, right? Because you never know what wound you're going to get. Although these guys are, like, easy to kill, so I'm not that worried. This will probably be it, actually. Oh, no, we got here another guy coming. Oh, they got more coming. All right. We got a good turnout for Halloween. That was a cock shot, if I've ever seen one. Yeah, our, with our... With our um, with our wound being the way it is, the exhaustion. I gotta use these early. Just soften them up enough. We got one bag dropped down there. Gotta get rid of Mo. The guy hits hard. Alright. Come on. Should be able to finish this off with the bat. Actually, this is a pretty good turnout for the Horde Knight. I thought it was going to be less than this. Hey, stop wrecking my door. He got a piece of me. I stood there, though, so it's my fault. I guess they're trying to jump over the door when they jump? I guess so. Ooh, I got the bag. Oh, a little bit of ammo and some pain pills. Nice. So that banging over there, they're banging on my fence, I think. Burn! Trick or treat or beating, that's what it is. They all wanted the beating, so I'm giving it to them. Yeah, they're banging on my fence over there. Burn! Yeah, so, I mean... Thinking about different types of horde-based setups, this is really the most efficient one. You know, in the past it was that killing corridor. But now it's like they've made it so that melee, va melee bases are really viable. God, you're wrecking my fence. I guess I should really check the back door. Oh, the back door's fine. Come on, you guys. Hey, Mo. Back for some more, eh? Trick, treat, or pummel to the nuts. I was about to say pummel to the face, and then he jumped up and took one in the bag, so... It's like, trick or treat or pummel in the nuts. He always likes those groin shots. Come on, get up here. There you go. Where's your buddies? There you are. 
They're wrecking my fence. I am going to add a new fence too, by the way. But I'm going to do it a little differently. I think I'm going to make it so that they can get like, get through it. Oh, Mo, go away. Have I leveled yet? I think I have. Whoa! Oh, this is such a nice change from, like, chaotic Horde Knights. Wow, uh, they both got a piece of me. Alright, you fuckers. Trick, treat, or pipe bomb? Big Mama's ass blocked most of the damage, I think. I think it bounced too far away. Ooh, that might be it too. Any more loot bags out here? A little bit of damage from the pipe bombs, but not much. Ooh, I'm stuck. How am I stuck? No wonder they're jumping. How do I get... Oh, that's so bizarre. Wow, you actually have to be running to get into the door. So they didn't... I think the pipe bombs did more damage to the building than the uh, zombies did. They were focused on the door and me. Which bodes well for this build. I mean, it's pretty simple. We can fight them at the door here. Upgrade these to steel eventually, and then it'll just be a... A door fight. Although I think this needs to be a platform out here. I think we need to take the stairs out and flatten this off a bit up here so they can come up to my level. I hate it when my uh... Yeah, I really hate it when they wreck my um... my rubble out here. It's kind of annoying. I think that was my pipe bombs though. All right, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Oh, I got back in that fine that time. I don't know what the hell. I got to work on the house a little bit tonight, I think. And then the next episode, when we come back, um, we're going to do some looting, I think. We got, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if, whether I want to in increase the difficulty. I think I might. Maybe I'll wait till after the next horde. Ooh, damage in the floor in here. I guess it was when they broke in the other time. The cops and everything. Um... Yeah, so we're going to look for a building to loot, and we'll go and do that. Going to need to um, get some concrete moving, too. So we're going to have to find a way to get a mixer going. Um, but yeah, we'll leave that till next episode, okay? I'm leaving this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comments section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.